Hello, in this Java tutorial, we're going to learn to write an algorithm to reverse all the characters in a string. We're going to talk about some of the properties of the string and learn about the substring method. If you want to learn all the ins and outs of the string class, please click on the video link in the upper right hand corner of the screen, or the link will also be in the video description. So let's start by creating the string that we're going to reverse. So I'm going to call it string original, and I'm going to set it equal to the word pupils. And this could be set to anything we want. Next, I'm going to make an empty string that's going to hold the reversed characters. So we're going to say string reverse. And I'm going to set it equal to quote unquote. So this is a string of size zero. There's not even a space in there, but it is initialized. Next, what we have to do is we have to make a for loop. So the for loop is going to go through the original string backwards and then add each individual character onto the end of the reverse string. So we're going to say for int i, that's our counter variable, equals original, which is the name of the string we're reversing, dot length, open close parentheses. When we're taking the size of a string, we've got to use dot length, open close parentheses, and we've got to say minus 1. And the reason we're starting i as a, the length minus 1 is that internally strings are arrays. So that means they start out at index 0. So the length of the string is 6. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But the first character is at index 0, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So even though it's a size 6, we're starting at index 5. So that's the minus 1. We're going to continue as long as i is greater than or equal to 0, because we want to go all the way back to index 0. And each time through the loop, we want to decrease the value of i by 1. Now we'll put in the curly brackets to show where we start and end the body of the for loop. And each time we go through the for loop, we want to say reverse equals whatever reverse is so far. First time through, reverse will be empty. Then plus original dot substring. Then we'll say i comma i plus 1. So this is only going to get one character at a time. And that's because substring, when we have two arguments, this is the starting position, which is inclusive. And this is the ending position, which is exclusive. So we start at i, but we end one before i plus 1. So substring is inclusive, exclusive. So this is only going to get us one character, the character at index i. So then it's going to go through, and it's first going to pull out S and add it on to reverse. Then it's going to pull out L and add it on to reverse, all the way up to the first character. So after the for loop is done, let's try it out and see if reverse is pupils reversed. So it's going to say system out print line, and we will say reverse. Now I'm not putting this in quotation marks because I don't want the word reverse. I want it to print out whatever is in the variable reverse. If I wanted to print out the word reverse, I would put quotation marks around it. Let's get rid of those quotation marks and let's run the program. And there we go. Pupils reversed is slip up. So that is one way we can reverse the value in a string. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and then leave me a comment down below. To see the next video, click on the image on the left side of the screen. To see the entire playlist for the series, click on the image on the right side of the screen. And to keep up to date on all the latest content, hit the subscribe button in the middle.